right everybody here's a preview video for this week's auction I'm trying to streamline this process a little bit Chad's taking pictures <clears throat> I'm knocking out the video as, as you guys have noticed we've had a lot a lot a lot of stuff lately and I don't really like being up till one in the morning doing this stuff so we're gonna see what we can do here. So this is gonna be a great auction. I'll go ahead and do a little, a little pan around. I don't know if you can, if it's doing any good or not. I won't know till it's on the computer, I guess. There's Vaughn. So, um, you know what, we'll start somewhere down here. Of course, I'll be doing the video different than Chad. He does a better job, I'm sure. Some Zippos, old Fisher Price, costume jewelry, as we do it in these huge flat folds. There's some vases there full of it. Look at that carving set is Case. Steuben, Lalique, Baccarat, Waterford, little figurines, jewelry, it's a bag full of coral and beads and stuff like that. Looks like some turquoise and some more coral. Neat little pieces there. Some red lines, red line Hot Wheels. Other little things in there. Bunch of two dollar bills, a silver certificate, you know, with the two dollars with the red on it. All right, and then a big box full of uh, coins, big flat Riker mount full of coins, a lot of uh, liberties, quite a few Morgans, um, some uh, halves in there, silver dimes. So we're gonna sell just you know big kind of lots of those of those smaller coins. Then we've got wheats there. I don't know why I wrote wheats on that sticker there. It should say nickels, but anyway, you'll figure it out. Um, there's more jewelry there. Little thing, John Wayne thing in there. Neat, neat scale. WC Tam Tavery. To weigh two pounds. You can't see that, can you? All right, up here, a lot of stuff on top. Quite a few books again this auction. Um, you know, it's uh, books are funny. Sometimes they're super hard to sell. Sometimes they'll go crazy. Uh, this is awesome right here. Uh, Mr. Citizen. Harry autograph in there. Kind of nice. It's a little word to the wise. If you come across a Harry Truman book and you're in the Kansas City area or Missouri for that deal, look and see if it's signed because there are a lot. This is neat, uh, Brother Truman, um, you know, signed by the author about his uh, Masonic. Then uh, Union, Indian Brigade in the Civil War, um, signed by the author. Another funny little book, signature in there. Amelia Earhart kind of thing, I guess. I think it's fiction. Um, an old Pinocchio. Old copy of Pinocchio. Um, then Harold Bell Wright. Signed photo of Harold Bell Wright there. Sorry, my camera. My camera work leaves much to be desired. There's another butterfly for Alicia if she's watching. Oh, it stinks. This is broken, but there's your piece in there. We didn't do it. You know, just all sorts of stuff in there. Neat uh, pocket mirrors, a couple Kansas City pocket mirrors from the Thornton and Minor Sanitarium, downtown Kansas City. Some knives back there. One they found at Harper's Ferry is what it says on there. A couple starter pistols. That crazy knife morning star thing there 
Um, a lot of Truman. A lot of Trumanalia. Um, some great pictures of Truman and of uh, his uh, the head of the Democratic Party. Um, it's uh, Boyle, I think, was his last name. And they say that he kind of engineered uh, Dewey, you know, Dewey defeating Truman and all that. So that a lot of those are, are, are Boyle documents. Military photos. Another neat old book. A little beat on the back. But it is, uh, you know, it's the content, I think. 1866, Congressional Debates and Proceedings. So you're going to have some um, you know, Civil War related stuff in there. Neat old set. Uh, heavy heavy plate which was kind of a mess up from another auction um, so here it is again um, neat old milk bottles I like the cobalt blue on that I don't think that one's especially old but anyway it's in there a um, couple kind of little folk arty whirly gig ducks sailboat there's an archer can uh, snowmobile outboard motor uh, these are full of buttons Here's a cookie jar. Sure, need to put a sticker on there. Hopefully it doesn't fall off of there. Uh, leather suitcase, play school thing there. A couple of really neat, neat old lamps. You know, this is a candle lamp. A lot of Staffordshire. Um, one of them does have a, a have a COA or you know a letter saying that it you know dated from the 50s, saying it was at least 120 years old, something along those lines. A little pig coin bank there. Uh, this is Tiffany. That's a Tiffany uh, bowl there, nicely marked. Another uh, cigar jar there, Staffordshire lamp. Harry Truman buck stops here. Deal. Orford crystals. Um, silver plate, weighted sterling, more crystal, uh, more china. Okay, bookity, bookity bookville here. Just have to look at the pictures. Um, you know, there's some really neat stuff in here. A lot of these are signed. Um, you know, a couple of atlases, Livingston County, Missouri, Greene County, Missouri. There's some more back there. Uh, Kansas Story, Kansas City, 10-year plan. A lot of local stuff in here, a lot of state, regional. Um, you know, some of these things are a swing and a miss and you just kind of go with what you think and there's also huge book lots in, back there too a lot of Kansas history this is a neat one William Rock Hill Nelson and then you know, what appears to be signature there of the old boy all right come back here um, there are some uh, Looks like Japanese prints, a lot of neat African pieces uh, brought back in the 60s, I believe. So again, you know, pay attention to the photos to get a better idea. This is Buffalo Hide. You'd never tell, you could never tell, but it's written on there in Vaughn, Vaughn New, because he's the mustache of knowledge. You know, back here, there's, there's some bunch of uh, reloading stuff in here. Um, that's a neat uh, Remington, Frederick Remington print from Harper's Weekly in 18 freaking 30, I think that says. All sorts of fun stuff there. Look at that. There's Chad hanging up a squirrel thermometer. <laughs> Not something you see every day. Alright. Yeah, all sorts of stuff over here. Neat old palace theater. Kind of, uh, you know, poster. Whatever. 
all the good stuff going on there. Room remembrance document. That's a neat little piece. It's marked Willis. Little girl and her praying and her dog up there with her. Um, a couple of quilts. This looks like some kind of maybe a crazy quilt of some kind. Um, we've got some other things over there. I'll hit those in a minute. There's Myron's from last week. Anyway, I guess I'm doing the video right now. Um, <laughs> let's see. So after that, um, I imagine, what have we been doing? We'll go do furniture after that. So I'll walk you over there, <clears throat> kind of go in the order of the auction, but let you see some of this stuff here while I'm slowly walking to not make you seasick. There's more of the books that I was talking about. I'll hit on that uh, in a minute. Of course, there's stuff over there to my right, too. Um, all right, so furniture, neat, and a spoon carved uh, bed, uh, really old bed. Everyone always asks what size it is. So a lot of times these old beds, it's not really a size. This measures about 79 by 59 inches. There's another bed, bird's eye, a veneer, uh, old sleigh type bed, uh, measures 56 by 83 inches, you know, somewhere around there. Dresser needs a little cleaning job we might do it get it done before the auction you might do it after you buy it a bookcase headboard and footboard not a ton of furniture but you know quite a few sticks here neat little marble top side table gate legs um, couch super nice couch comfy uh, neat little primitive uh, trunk there's a bunch of Ethan Allen pieces back there. Desk and chest. And a little mirror. Oh, you're getting an idea. Chad has raised the bar on doing the video. You guys remember I used to just kind of blaze through it. Trying to do a better job. Yeah, 12 minutes, 25 seconds. I'd have been done. Way done. But people seem to like the video, and that makes me makes me happy. Um, that's some neat. I mean, nice, nice furniture. Neat, kind of a what do you call it, rustic or whatever. Outdoor pieces. There's your dual wash tub on a wheeling stand. Um, all right then. I imagine what we'll do, and we may not, it may change, so please forgive me. Um, I imagine we've got a, t a ton of toys too. Old collectible, you know, toys. You know, some better than others. A bunch of games. Um, stuff, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Okay, then uh, kind of our little primitive row up here. These are all tiny, like, you know, miniature size. Like, this is, I mean, this is folk art, you know. Stands about, you know, a couple feet tall. Old grinder. Writing desk has the ink wells there. Lots of old, old buttons. Little scooter. Nice. Come on, bad light bulb. Nice old lamps there. Military stuff, some military stuff here. Um, sleeping bag, uh, jungle boots, hats, Navy stuff, backpacks, desert camo jackets, woodland camo jackets, uh, regular army green. There's a 20 gauge uh, reloader deal there. You just get all that one money. Uh, nice little hanging chandelier type deals there. All right, and then we'll do pretty much choice single item off of here. Choice single game, choice toy. And this guy was, you know, quite a collector. Some really prolific 
really prolific, you know, collection. It's just mind-boggling and uh, cool to see, you know, all the stuff. Um, Star Wars, Star Wars stuff here. Um, over here we've got eight tracks, um, more books, vinyl records, slate records, uh, camera stuff. More records, vintage uh, hi-fi speakers, um, then, I mean, freaking memory lane here, for those of us who grew up in the 70s. It's crazy, man. I used to play with this thing all the time. Got that little elevator down. Freaking nuts. But, I mean, it's, it's collectible stuff, folks. Some of it's cleaner than uh, other stuff, but I mean, it's... Main Street there, airport. Oh, man. Those were the days. Uh, I guess there's some stuff over here, too. Little uh, bubble ball popper, you know, push along, old vintage Fisher Price stuff. Big ass green crayon. The old Huffy with the shock, the adjustable mono shock. My neighbor across the street had one of those. I was always so jealous. A banana seat. Uh, some kind of mid-century kids' chairs. Uh, it's like you need to do maybe do a little work on them there. And yeah, a pallet full of stuff that'll all go one money. Let's see. Do I already do this? I don't think so. No more vintage stuff. More books, Hot Wheels in these 70s boxes here. Rolling Stone, Rolling Stone, Rolling Stones. More vintage Fisher Price. Paddington, kind of a big deal right now. And more vintage, you know, like plush stuff. We don't, and again, you know, we don't. Hey, there he is. We don't normally, you know, do too much with that kind of stuff, but um, yeah, this freaking castle to drop that guy oh down there all freaking day long I could do that um, more vinyl records 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 more vinyl 45s all sorts of good stuff there so then oh I don't think I, I didn't show you these it's big concrete pieces bird bath and a planter, you know, those will probably sell uh, as fern with the furniture. Okay, and then I guess we've been going straight here. So we'll go over here. And some of these Danish, uh, you know, blue and white plates, silver plate, crystal, china, brass, neat, uh, kind of elegant. Lamps. Um, we'll go over here, more china, more crystal, more glass pieces. And then all these Bing and uh, Grandal plates here, as well as these Franklin Mint ornaments. You know, some of these haven't even, you know, they're still sealed. I think we needed to open every single one. So, what we'll probably do here is do choice single. You know, even though they're in stacks, we'll probably do choice single here, you know, and then like single plate, get down to five bucks, sell all the plates. Single ornament box, same thing. Stuff on the floor down there too. Um, okay, over here, uh, it's a freaking library in here. And you know, we went through these, 
I think we did a pretty good job, but I'm sure there's some, I'm sure there's some sleepers in here. Um, just some really, really cool stuff, you know. Uh, manual State of Missouri, 1917, 1918, on up. Uh, 1909, 1910. Probably not the most exciting reading, but I mean, it needs to find itself a good home. Right, guys? Harper's uh, Monthly, 1860s, 1870s, 1862. Harper's, so, you know, you've got some Civil War history in there. Um, international Reviews, 1870s. A lot of Ozark stuff. Here's some more Harry. You might find a signature we missed. Seriously, you very well might. I mean, then there is a public paper, the public papers of the presidents series of Harry S. Truman. There's just a few pieces of silver plate in there, you know. And then some of these, a backwoods philosopher from Arkansas, Daniel Boone, backwoodsman. You know, you look them up online, you can't hardly find anything about it. You know, except that it's been archived. Um, Fates of Fiddler, the Mississippi Bubble. You know, and then there's some that are kind of messed up. I know conditions, everything. History University of Missouri. Um, more window locks and uh, old iron hooks. Um, pictorial History of England. Southern Quarterly, 1875. These are all bound. Southern, Southern Review. Um... Geologic Atlas of the United States Joplin District. So there were some more of those up front there. Neat picture of an old Victorian house. Some, you know, kind of botanicals, those kind of things, or, you know, animals. Um, Battle of Wilson's Creek. I don't know how we'll sell those. Maybe choice first and then sell them all. Um, okay, then I imagine we'll come down here. Don't hold me to it because things might change. Another neat table. Bunch of life magazines in there, a lot of World War II stuff in there. Cuckoo clock. Hey look, Fisher Price Farm. And this is a totally different consigner, which is it's just funny how it works like that. There's some there's some cool stuff. Okay, and then uh I believe we'll probably go over here. Uh I don't know if we'll knock out the fence or the table first or there's some artwork here, some real nice pieces, nice signed uh, watercolors it looks like. I mean, big, nice big mirror. That guy, these ladies, that castle of that river. Oh, Kansas City, right? Looks like it. Frederick, yeah, Frederick James. Frederick James right there. And Frederick James hanging on the freaking wall, on the fence. So, um, yeah, that's awesome. Might end up moving that one a little closer to the front. Then, you know, just all sorts of crazy stuff. Big flat full of cameras. Model. Little toy, you know, kind of beat, but... You know, toy guys know a lot about this stuff. That's kind of a dumb thing to say. Um, okay, then there's a few little things scattered on the wall here. Looks like a Masonic document. Maybe an old ad. We might get those all straightened out in the line before. That one, you know, didn't have a hook on it, so we couldn't hang it up. Um, yeah, telephone lineman's stuff. Uh, holsters. Some tools. Some more toys. I would, I would bet there are some sleepers over here as well. Primitive, primitive boxes there. 
the stuff on the floor. Look, a Safeway coffee maker. A metal milk crates. A um, couple big pallets just full of stuff, you know, that you blow out the whole pallet. Everything, one money. And we come down here and comic books. Uh, collected works, books, of famous authors, some uh, old comics that have been archived, Disney stuff, puzzles, Flintstones puzzle, that kind of thing. The castles are cool. Got good money from those, out of those before. All right, and this over here, I don't know, we might do, we might even do this over here before furniture. I'm thinking, even though it's last in the video, um, uh, neat Japanese scrolls. They're so hard to display, and a lot of, I mean, this is old. This is really old, and, it, you know, you don't want to bust it up. You know, look at the pictures. Again, there's no substitute for, you know, coming into the auction. Let's see if I can get you in there. Coming into the auction and checking stuff out. And some uh, embroidery, Asian embroidery. And Chinese pieces. Then uh, some kind of, what, India or... You know, the rubbings, Tibet, or that kind of deal. So we'll probably do that stuff right before we do the furniture. So, yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, uh, so, yeah, thanks. We'll see you Thursday.